Hi everybody, this is Gijs again and I hope you are doing well. This video is coming from Munich, from the trade show Outdoor by ISPO. And this is one of the two trade shows that I visit every year, one in winter and one in summertime. And the products that are being um, displayed here are new products for the season, spring, summer 2024. Now, for those of you who just tuned into my channel for the very first time, it might be polite to introduce myself. My name is Gijs. I am a outdoor gear and bike reviewer and I live in the flat Netherlands. And sometimes I also um, review gadgets like for example, the DJI drones that I use for a lot of B-roll footage, uh, a DJI Pocket 2, but also some power bank stuff that I use to charge my cameras. Uh, on top of that camera and here is a new DJI microphone set that I just bought and I'm trying out this time. So if the sound sounds a little bit different than you're used to what I do, then that's the reason. Now what I really would like you to know, if this is the first time that you see one of my videos, um, I'm a totally independent reviewer, so that means that manufacturers are not paying me for my reviews. So if you like what I do at the end of this video, then please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And many thanks in advance if this is what you do. Now, back to Outdoor by ISPO. Um, there are a lot of manufacturers displaying their new stuff for coming summer spring season like i said 2024 for the honesty of this video um, i was here already one day ahead that was yesterday and i had a well good browse around all the products that i found interesting what you will also see probably on the background um, is that there are some boots there are stuff on display that are um, sent in for the outdoor by ispo awards and that's where all the products are. And I will show you a few of them because they are pretty interesting. I was once on that jury, um, but I'm also in another jury. And that's the jury of the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards. And that is why I was before this trade show, just a few days before I was in Finland to try all these products that were sent in. And um, over there in one of the big halls, there is a display of all those products. And yesterday at the end of the day, I handed out the award winning prizes in all the different categories so that was really a nice job and now let's continue or let's start what this is all about new products for 2024 i already mentioned that there are two types of jury or awarded products in this trade show the first one is the outgrown by ispo awards and this is basically this whole tent setup um, these products it's the dometico hydration water faucet and jerk system and also the Nordisk NFC customer experience. Um, both products were sent in for the ISPA awards but also for the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards where I'm part of and that one won both prizes. Um, this is really a nice system for getting water into a hose into a faucet and when you press a button put your cup underneath it and water will flow automatically of course into your cup the nice thing is that you can do this also in pitch black nights because there is a light question is this really a outdoor product and i really would like to have your feedback on this i do think it is because a lot of people who uh, drive trucks or small cars or have a van van life is booming at the moment here in europe um, this is really a product that they will take into their way of outdoors. Now this one, the Nordisk, is also a very interesting one because there is a tag on it, you can scan it with your iPhone, and then this basically tells you everything that is going on with this product. The whole journey from basically the cotton to the end product, and it will also tell you what you can do with a product after the end of life. The cool thing is, of course, that this is still in a sort of a development phase. Uh, nothing, everything has been yet finalized. But this is something really for consumers to get more knowledge on the products. Really a really nice attempt to do this. Now, when you follow me already for a while, then you know that I like bikes. And mostly I test the, the bikes that I ride with a pannier set from Ortlieb, the red ones. And this one is a little bit different. It's not only about the bag itself from bezel, but it's also about the new carrying system that they made. It's the MIG side. And what I like about it is the fact that it has got a very solid metal pulling thingy. And when you click it, it comes off very, very easily. And this is one system that I think because it is directly attached to the carrier itself, it will be a sort of soundless 
very nicely fixed system. And that's why it won a ISPO award. One of those other products that won a ISPO award, but also a Scandinavian outer award is the Nordisk or Yeti by Nordisk no door jacket. And this is a very light, it weighs less than 300 grams, um, down jacket. It's filled with crystal down. That is of course RDS certified. And the material, it is absolutely thin. It's got a water resistant zipper. Um, and we tried this one in Finland last week. And we discovered that the weather was just too good to test it basically because it was so very hot. But we also used this one in the boat ride. And yes, it kept the lady who was wearing it at that time, Marika, absolutely dry. So in that case, this is really a nice jacket. Of course, it is a summer award, so you will take this with you when you go high into the mountains, when you start into the valley with beautiful weather. But when you go up and end the day high in the mountains when it will be a little bit cold and then you take this one out of your backpack and you will be absolutely fine. One of the brands that I don't see a lot of in the Netherlands is Adidas Terex and I think that's really a pity because they make really nice outdoor gear from fleeces to shells to shoes. Um, and this one, I've not seen it before because I'm not in this jury, I did not go inside yet and I did not find this one, uh, but this is the Terex. Tech Rock reversible hooded jacket, fleece jacket. And well, you can see it for yourself. It's got fleece on the inside, or if you reverse it, it's got fleece on the outside. And probably the thought about this is that if you wear the fleece on the inside, it is a better insulating garment. And you've got this layer on the outside that will be probably a little bit water repellent. Um, and when it's a little bit a warmer day or you just want to look very, very cuddly, um, then of course you wear this nice fluffy stuff on the outside. So yeah, I really think this is a nice Terex product. Next to me is Temu. And we are here at the booth where startup brands are experimenting their stuff. Yep. Now you are from the brand Woolmark that yes. I know from a lot of other things. <laughs> You're a Finnish company. Yes. Woolmark is something new. Yes. Tell me. So Woolmark Finland, uh, we, we are creating outdoor clothing specifically from alpaca wool. Yeah. So that's the thing what we want to do. In the last three, three years we've been uh, building our kind of uh, company slowly, piece by piece, bringing accessories, small garments and finally getting in the sweaters and, and now as well try to get into the base layers where we truly believe that our strength will be kind of visible. And is, is Apalka wool better than Merino wool? Yes, I, I think uh, for us it's a clear short statement, better than Merino. I think uh, for us and it's as well not only kind of feeling and, and own, own kind of a knowledge base, but there's a lot of research behind it as well from the structural base why alpaca wool is and for us it's kind of three key different things there is the insulation properties mm -hmm. alpaca wool has a higher insulation properties the moisture management and wicking it's uh, larger with that and then one of the key elements that we have more sustainable wool than merino is okay That's so that means that we will see more of your wool spreading out into europe and the rest of the world because for the moment it's mainly contained to Finland itself. Yes, yes. We have been now growing uh, steadily in Finland the uh, last three years and now in the start of this year, especially start to expand here in the Germany. Uh, we came the first time to last East Bay Munich and now came to here as well with the pool kind of to get our feet into the international markets. So this sounds like an advertisement. He is looking for agents yes. distributed mainly in Germany, I believe. Yes, yes, so Germany. If you want to do this, then just send me a DM, an email, whatever, and I'll connect you to Timo. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. This one we've got. <laughs> As you know, I love staying in tents. And it doesn't matter to me if it is a backpacking tent, a rooftop tent, or sometimes even a family tent. Um, and behind here, there's a very big road with a lot of trucks at the moment, so you can't have a worse scenario for doing something about the tent. This is the new Nordisk Seiland, and it is a three-person tent. And the special thing about this one is that this is actually a four-season tent, 
that can also be used in all the other seasons. A lot of four season tents are mainly designed for winter circumstances. Um, and it's pretty hard to show you everything, but I'll try to run you through a couple of the details. One of the most astonishing details to me was that this is not a nylon ripstop fabric, but this is actually a ripstop polyester fabric with a silicon coating to make it waterproof. And why did Nordisk use polyester? Well, simply because nylon fabrics, and you will see this in my reviews, uh, they've got the tendency to have a lot of stretch and be very depending on weather circumstances. When it's sunny, they go absolutely tight. When there's a little bit of dew coming or when the temperature gets cold, it drops. With polyester, this effect is way less. And this is a 20 denier, which is still pretty, pretty thin. Um, as you can see, it's got a big air scoop on the front. It's got a big air scoop on the back. On the back, there is also a part of the tent that you can basically lift up so that you have more ventilation going on. The same thing also for the sides. Um, you can lift the skirts on the side up so that you've got more ventilation in the three season periods. Now there's one other thing that I would like to show you, but then you will have to join me inside. Now moving into the tent, inside that it's a three person tent. And you will see that it has got a mesh door that is also covered by a normal fabric door so that when you've got colder situation, you can absolutely take care of the temperature inside the tent. And at the rear and in the front, you will see a lot of pockets. And that is what a lot of tent manufacturers are missing out on at the moment. It also has got really nice, um, I always call them washing lines, that are attached to the fabric, that are attached on the same point as where it is to the tent itself, to the outer tent. Now, um, there's something that I would like to show you on the outside, because what makes this tent a really nice winter tent is the fact that um, what you see is that the storm lines or guy lines, they are attached basically around the pole. So that is a really strong uh, construction and it's connected to the tent fabric. And that is what I wanted to show you on the new Nordisk Zeeland three person four season tent. I'm here with the Nordic Pocket Saar company. And this is probably what you know, because it is on my YouTube channel and it's an absolutely fantastic chainsaw. Jonathan, yes. the big news for today is that you came up with a new Nordic pocket saw. Yeah, exactly. We have developed a, a folding saw as well. Um, yeah, we saw, basically saw a gap in the market. Uh, we think there is not too many really nice folding saws in the outdoor uh, segment. Yeah. So we wanted to do one with, uh, with cork, because we really like cork. So the handle here is made of, of um, uh, leftover materials when you are producing wine and champagne corks. Don't use wine and songs together. No, 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 exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, so that is grinding together, pressed down into cork. Uh, we have an aluminium frame, makes it very, very lightweight. Yeah. That, that was the surprising thing to me when I lifted it. It's absolutely one of the lightest that in this size I've ever felt. Yeah. Um, the blade itself, what, what is it? Uh, it's Swedish steel, uh, Sandvik steel. Uh, it is made of 90% recycled steel okay. from material from the beginning. And I mean, Swedish steel is known for its, uh, um, its high quality, basically. Yeah. So it's perfect for saw blades. Um, I would say, um, take it away. Yeah, sure. Are you going to hold that one so we don't yeah. drop this one to the, to the ground? <laughs> so now we know the Nordic pocket saw. It works. Thank you so much for the demonstration. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Welcome. And maybe I'll test it later at home. Yep. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Cheers. Yes. So. I'm here at the booth of Trailhoppers and Pierre, Trailhoppers is a pretty young company. It is, we actually started the company this year. Congratulations. Thank you and so you much. And you do something quite special because you won a ISPO Outdoor Award. We did. With this little package. Exactly. And you need so much space for one little package. Explain this to me. Because this little package has a superpower. It's a shape-shifting product. Basically, it's a four-in-one product. That means you have one product that you can use as a hammock. Which is over there. It can easily transform into a poncho. 
which is this guy over here. Yeah. This is the girl. It's a guy. It's a guy. <laughs> Same product yeah. can be used as a shelter. Like That's this. how I probably would use it. Yeah. And as a picnic blanket for games at the yeah. park or at the beach. So it's a, it's, it's a very multifunctional one. It and is. The material itself, it is 100% waterproof. It is 100% waterproof. Is it a yeah. nylon or a polyester? It's nylon. Nylon. And what kind of waterproofness? Polyurethane or silicon? Uh, it's PU coating. PU coating. Yeah. So that On means the back it's side. also sustainable. It is sustainable and it's durable. And if I may ask, yeah. we are actually live on Kickstarter. Uh, we ah, have a pre-order okay. campaign on Kickstarter. We started this yesterday. And as of today, we are already fully funded. So if you want to check out the campaign and discover a lot more about this little guy, you may. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. Thanks a lot. Sometimes at these trade shows, you run into a pleasant surprise. And that's basically the shoe or the people behind this shoe. And um, this is a new brand. It's called the Mountos. And the Mountos shoe brand, it is the idea of a shop, Schutterups, in the Netherlands. And it's a very well-known shop for how they sell and fit shoes to consumers. Um, the owner, together with his daughter, came up with the idea. Let's make a crossover between a trail running shoe and a mountain hiking shoe. So that means it's got a trail running Fibram outsole that we also see on the pattern also I see on other shoes and it's got a upper that is made out of leather and of course inside the shoe to make it waterproof and breathable there is a membrane um, and what I especially like about this Mountos shoe of course is the orange outsole because this resembles my outdoor guru logo but of course also the Netherlands and yes They've got a very big car and I'm not going to name the name because I drive a Land Cruiser and that's the other one. Most of you will know the name Reco because it is a device that is used inside of clothing, especially ski clothing, um, that when somebody gets buried under an avalanche that you will be able to find him or her. This device has been in use already for a very long time um, and this is what they use on the ground. Above here, there is even a bigger device that they are going to use in cooperation with helicopters, of course, but also in the near future with drones. And it weighs about 37 kilograms, inclusive, inclusive the batteries. So this is a really nice development, but that's not what I want to tell you because this is what I wanted to tell you. And I hold in the front of the yellow, you can see it a little bit better. It is this nice, rubbery thingy. This is the new RECO system and the good thing about this one is that it is way smaller than the original one, it is way more flexible and next to that it is about 50% savings on weight and materials and one of the th materials that's inside here is copper which is of course an expensive material and when you save on this material as well it really helps sustainability. Next to that, they also told me that this device has a better chance of being recovered than the old one. Now, um, this device was also sent in for the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards. And because of the fact that Veco already saved many lives, but also retrieved because of the Reco system, many people who are deceased under the avalanches, but that people still have somebody to bury, that is a huge step. And with getting this one smaller, now it's possible to get it even into the lightest of jackets made from the lightest materials. And that is why we thought at Scandinavian Outdoor Award Jury that RECO should deserve the Technology Award. Now, I went outside because indoors it is just too dark for a black jacket like this. And actually it's not a jacket, it's a pullover from Aklima. And it is the Aklima Reborn pullover. And reborn, it means that it is made from a material that is mainly scrap, wool scrap, from the Aklima factories. And that wool is being taken, it's made into a yarn again, and that's why they make this um, reborn, Aklima reborn from. We've had this pullover, or hoodie, because it has a hoodie, um, on the jury meeting in Finland and well, everybody in the jury absolutely liked it. What you will see also is that next to the fabric, which is really a cuddly uh, fabric, 
and it is really nice to wear as well. It's of course it is uh, merino wool. That there is a collar that really goes high. So when it is really cold weather, it's a really nice garment to get really tucked into. What is a nice detail is, and it's here on the middle of the chest, this is actually not leather, maybe it is a sort of leather, it is fish skin that they use to print their logo on. And this is just a sample because it will not be in the middle of your chest, but it will be on the side of the arm where I think it should be. And it's got really nice pockets to warm your hands. And well, that is why it won the Sustainability Award at the Scandinavian Outdoor Award jury meeting in Finland. Well, this is absolutely the most comfortable presentation that I've done in a while because this is the new Expat Lux mat. On top, there is a organic cotton, which is really nice and soft to touch. But inside, there is a new wool layer, which is very, very comfortable. And of course, this wool layer is also sustainable. Um, and I opened the zipper already because inside there is this really thick air filled mattress. And when you look into the detail, into this little, well, so is that how you call it? Stitching thingy? Um, the little white layer, that is actually where the wool is. Now, the whole system, you buy it not in pieces, you buy it in a system. The things that you can buy extra is, of course, the same kind of pillow. And of course, a blanket that you can attach to this bed. And now the big question, do we really need a new bed at home? This will do too. This nice cooking set is the Ulti cooking set from Primus. And this is one of the products that was sent in for the Scandinavian Outdoor Awards and that did not win. Yes, we loved the system and we liked the way how the heat is exchanged from basically the gas into a heat exchanger, into the liquid, into the pots. And everything fits really nice in it. But we also measured the boiling time. And the boiling time, it was six minutes plus. And that is for a system like this just too long. Of course, we could not measure the gas consumption because we did not bring a scale. But six minutes, even if it's very efficient, it is a little bit long. That's why we decided not to give an award. But, um, well, for them it's nice, they won a ISPO outdoor award. Now, I just talked to the developers and um, probably our stove was not functioning the way how they think it should operate because we had a pre-production model, because the production models are not ready yet. So in the near future, and that's going to be not really near future, it's going to be October, November, probably when first production is ready, I will be getting um, one of those to test for my YouTube channel. And that's also why I'm at this trade show. I'm at the booth of Grutzibeck and Hi. with me is Marcus. Um, yes. I know Marcus already quite some while and he's a bit like the nutty professor. A little bit, yeah. Which is very positive, I think. <laughs> um, Explain to me, what is this? Yeah, uh, first of all, we always make something with wool because wool is the best isolation you can get and it's like a natural air condition. So you sleep better because what we develop, we develop for a better sleep. Yeah. For me, it's not important to be the lightest, we are light, but for me, it's important to have the best sleeping climate because when you make a holiday, you want to sleep. That's the important thing. Yeah. yeah, and for a good thing to better sleep is also to keep the bug out. That's why we make here a new mosquito net on it. So it, no bugs, no snakes, no other things, no mosquito, nothing come into that sleeping bag. So you also have a better sleep. And yeah. I always worry if it's something too tight, that way it's a big dome. So you have a lot of space inside yeah. Yeah. and you have no contact with the net. So you don't have the mosquito inside. And if it's too warm, you have on both sides a mosquito net. Uh, you see foot, it here too. The foot box has one yeah. as well. Yeah, one as well. Yeah. So the air can go through. So very comfortable sleep with it. And now this is the warmer version, but what yeah. if I go to Thailand, for example? Yeah, we also have a Thailand, the tropical version. There's a very small packing size, also with wool because of the climate. Yeah. It's very unsensitive to humidity. You can use it everywhere. And it's the best sleeping climate you can get. Okay. That's on the sleeping bag. But there's also a new jacket that he is working on. Yeah. Do you want to show this already? I can show it. Just get it. I get it. So here's a woman ticket. Yeah. No. Uh, um, there's no wool inside. This is silk isolation, yeah. But you're a wool company. There's a little bit wool also. 
It's wool and silk mixed. It's silk wool. It's our new invention. It's silk yeah. wool. And we can now brush up the silk and make from 80 gram, 80 gram is only a paper, we can brush it up so high. So it's a very lightweight jacket. But the good thing is the insulation, also the silk reacts like an air condition. So if you sweat a lot, the silk takes away the moisture very quick. It, it's a vaporized cooling. And if you not sweat, the wool comes yeah. and make warm. So have a, a jacket with a much bigger range, you can use it. Very comfortable and very lightweight. But this is the Outdoor by Ispo for spring, summer next year. So don't go rushing into a store because you will not find this one yet. What now? will be in store somewhere in January, February next year. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> one of the things that you might have seen on my YouTube channel is the review that I did on the grill water purification system or the water purifier. And uh, one of the remarks that my wife made, because she is a water purification engineer, was that there was still a possibility of cross-contamination between the filter and the drinking parts. Now, a while ago already uh, Grill changed this because they came up with a nozzle basically on top of um, the filtration or of the drinking system. So you will never ever get cross-contamination anymore. But the news from this trade show is that now they made a titanium version of this one. And what you now can do is basically you can boil water in this one over your stove or your open fire. And you can also cook your meal with this. And this part is also titanium, which I think is absolutely cool. Here at Bach, they also have a new tent and it is called the MOA Light. It is available in a two and a three person version. Um, and now they told me the weight of 1.8 kilograms and I'm not sure for which size this actually is the two or the three person so I'll pop that on the screen later. Um, the material itself is a 20 denier ripstop nylon with a double, double layer of silicon on the inside and also on the outside and this is of course for waterproofness and UV um, well against UV radiation or deterioration. What I do like about this tent is that it has got some features that are really, really clever. And this is the tent that is designed by a new designer at Bach. And one of those things, but then you will have to come on in and I'll take you on my other camera, is basically that what we have on the top part here, there is a loop and this loop, it is not elastic. This one is a fixed structure. So that means that the inner tent will never go any lower. Now, the other thing that I really like is the fact that the door, um, it opens, of course, totally. And what you can do now is you can fold it away in a pocket. So that is never in the way. And that is really different to a lot of other tents that don't have a pocket or that have a pocket in the sides. Um, the inner tent itself, it is really spacious. And the material of the floor itself is anti-slip in uh, relation to a mattress. The other thing what is interesting is the ventilation on the back of this tent. So now we will walk to the other side. Then on the back side you will see that this one is really raised a lot higher and you will see that there is a lot of possible ventilation. So this is what I wanted to show you on the new Bach tent uh, that is probably going to be a really nice tent for well, a lot of Nordic countries. Of course, Osprey always had a lot of news every year and this year it's a bit different because they celebrate their 50th birthday. Um, the first backpack that I want to show you is the Downburst 36, which is a 100% waterproof backpack for the main compartment. Um, like a lot of other backpacks, it's got a roll top and this is the big waterproof part of that backpack. What I do like about this material is that it is way softer. Where is it? That it's a, it feels way more flexible than a lot of other waterproof backpacks that are a little bit, well, basically on the rough or non-flexible side. Um, the backpack also has got a zipper over here, which means that you get access to a laptop compartment and it will fit a 16 inch laptop. So my MacBook Pro will go in there. And of course, it is a water resistant uh, zipper. It's not 100% waterproof guaranteed. So that's something that you should be aware of. And the same, of course, for this outer pocket. 
pocket where I most of the time put in wet towels or uh, my rainwear that needs to dry. Uh, not waterproof and it's got of course nice holes on the bottom so that you can lose your water or your wet stuff when it's in there. What is quite special on this one, it's the back panel, the carrying system. Of course, it's of the airy type. It's a little bit different than we see on other uh, Osprey backpacks because this one, it's treated with silicon. So that means that it is actually water resistant. It will not absorb water. So that's for a waterproof backpack, absolutely necessary. necessary. Now, um, use the carrying thing if you use a backpack. Let's put that one aside and go over to the Ether Pro 75. Um, this is basically a lightweight version of the Ether that you already know. And that many of you have been asked me uh, to review it. And I did not do this because I knew that this one was coming. And when this one is absolutely ready, um, I will have this one for review later this year. And yes, I, I tried it yesterday, and, um, not with weight, regrettably, but the carrying system and all the possibilities, how this is adjustable to my body, it absolutely feels gorgeous when it's on your back. So I'm really wondering how this is going to perform in real outdoor life. But that, again, I will do this later when I've got one for reviewing. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Because with more of you, I can make more videos. I'm just going to be a little bit more influential. Is that how you say this? Uh, many thanks again. Now, if you like what I do, continue watching with the review videos that I normally do on speed pedelecs. I did a very interesting one on a Aska speed pedelec with full suspension. Or if you're more interested in tents, I've got a playlist on that as well. Um, the same for backpacks and for all the outdoor gadgets that I use to shoot these kind of videos. Um, all the links are below, of course, in the description. Again, many thanks for watching. Enjoy the outdoors and stay safe. Ciao, ciao! And the good thing is, I still got some time left, so I'm going to talk to more people. Bye.